If you're looking around for an entry level developer or tech job right now, I'm willing to bet that you're already pretty annoyed because entry level jobs these days now need like three years of work experience. But how are you supposed to get job experience if you don't have job experience? This is the exact problem that me, all of my students and pretty much every single career switcher who has transitioned into tech has faced at some point when trying to land that first coding job. But in this video, I want to share with you three strategies that I I used to get past this problem myself and transition into my first developer job and that I also used to get dozens of my students hired. If you're new here, my name's Ayman. I went from working in a warehouse to landing an $80,000 developer job with no degree and I've helped dozens of career switches make that same transition. And believe it or not, all of these achievements have only been possible because I use the very strategies that I'm going to teach you in this video to get past the experience paradox and land my first coding job. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So jumping straight in, the first way to get past the experience paradox is by using virtual internships. So this is a little known strategy that pretty much nobody talks about. But if you go to Google and you search for coding virtual internships, you're going to see a ton of companies offering virtual internship programs for pretty much every field of tech that you could think of. But what exactly is a virtual internship? Well, a virtual internship is basically just a program that's meant to simulate and teach you what it's like to work as a developer in the real world and how they usually work is you'll register and sign up for the virtual internship program completely free and absolutely anyone can sign up and then you're going to receive a series of tasks that you have to complete and work through on your own. And then once you've completed all of the tasks you've been assigned, you will then submit them for review and then you will receive a internship certificate at the end of the program. Now, what makes these internship programs so useful is massive companies like EA Games, JP Morgan Chase and Walmart offer these virtual internship programs and they are completely free and available to anyone. So all you have to do is go online, search for these virtual internship programs, sign up, go through them, complete the tasks and receive your certificate and then now you can legitimately say that you were a software engineering intern at JP Morgan Chase or EA Games or Walmart on your resume. So when you go to apply for jobs, you're now getting instant credibility from having these big names on your resume. And if you get asked about this experience in an interview, all you have to do is say it was a virtual internship program show them the certificate and you can also talk about the features that you completed as part of the virtual internship program and the second really easy way to get past the experience issue is by freelancing and no this doesn't mean you have to go on upwork or fiverr and compete with all of the developers from third world countries who are charging one dollar per hour instead all you're going to do is ask absolutely everyone you know if they need a website and just offer to build it for them for free so just reach out to your friends your family your mutuals whoever Whoever you can get in touch with. And while you're doing that, you also want to search for local businesses in your area using Google Maps and find the ones that don't have a website. And then you want to email them and call them making the same offer. After doing this for one to two weeks, you're pretty much guaranteed to find at least one person who needs a website. When I personally did this, I was able to find two clients off the bat and every single one of my students have also been able to find at least one person in that two week period. So once you've found your person in need, all you have to do is then build out the website for them and then repeat that process for one to two more people if you can then you can now say you are a legitimate freelance developer on your resume and leverage that experience to get you interviews now just like the past experience the best part is if an employer tries to dig deeper into this experience in the interview you can actually back it up with real proof you can say yep here's the clients that I built the website for. Here's the actual website that I built. Here is the client's contact details. You can reach out to them if you think I'm lying. I mean, I know when I personally did this and I applied for the job that eventually did hire me and allow me to earn 80K per year without a degree, I literally used the freelance client that I got from using this strategy as a reference. And I honestly think that this freelancing strategy right here is the number one reason I was able to land my first developer job. So that's basically how the freelancing strategy works. Now let's move on to our third 
and final strategy of this video. But just before we get into that, if you're serious about transitioning into tech and want me to personally walk you through the entire process from learning the skills to landing your first developer job, click the first link in the description to apply for my one-on-one -on -one coding bootcamp. It's where I help career transitioners just like yourself transition into tech and land 70 to 100K developer roles in just a few months. So if that sounds like you, check out the first link in the description. But without further ado, let's get straight back into the video and dive into our third and final strategy. So the third strategy to get past the experience paradox is building your own startup. Now, when people hear the word startup, they get super intimidated and think you have to build something groundbreaking or revolutionary. Your startup doesn't have to be the next open AI or chat GPT. When I say build a startup, all I mean is just spend two to three months building and deploying a decent project that you think could be useful to a certain group of people. That's it. It doesn't have to be anything super complex. It could be a note-taking app for university students, a to-do list for busy parents, a simple habit tracker, literally anything. The actual project you choose to build honestly doesn't even matter that much. Most of the work is just going to be in making the startup look legit enough to actually get you interviews. So you want to make sure to slap a super professional logo on it. Make sure the UI looks really modern and professional. You want to set up a LinkedIn page for the startup, social media pages for the startup. You want to buy a professional domain, so a .com or a .io. And once you've done that and you're sure that the startup looks professional and legit enough to actually look like a real company, then what you want to do is say you are the founding software engineer at XYZ startup, whatever you choose to name it, on your resume and then leverage that experience to get you hired. Now, if you're really struggling to come up with startup ideas, and I mean really struggling. I suggest checking out the different startups and side projects that people are building on this website called producthunt.com. And that'll make you realize how simple and basic some of the best startups in the world or the fastest trending or rising startups actually are. Or if you're looking for project or startup ideas that are a little more complex and you really want to challenge your technical skills, then you can check out the winning hackathon projects from top universities like Harvard or MIT and then draw inspiration or even completely copy those ideas. And those two resources should give you more than enough ideas to get up and running. Now, the best part about all of the strategies that I just walked through is they give you completely legitimate experiences. So if an employer ever tries to dig deeper into any of these experiences, you can actually back it up with real proof. And that makes sure that these experiences not only land you interviews, but land you full-time jobs. And that, my friends, is how you get past the experience trap to actually land your first coding job. If you genuinely take action on all of the strategies that I walk through in this video, I can guarantee that you'll get hired. Now, if you want to learn more about how to learn to code and transition into tech, all the way from what skills to learn, what projects to build, how to apply to jobs, I highly recommend you watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now. It's a full one hour and 30 minute course where I break down absolutely everything I know about transitioning into the tech industry as a career changer. But if you're done wasting time trying to piece together everything you yourself and you want me to personally coach you and walk you through the entire process, then apply to join my coding bootcamp with the first link in the description. It's where I help career transitioners just like yourself land 70 to 100k developer roles in the next three to six months guaranteed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.